In this quick skills video, we'll be looking at calculating the percentage of an amount, and then we'll look at calculating the percentage change. So if we start with a rule for calculating percentage, that is that if we want to find the percentage of an amount, then what we need is the amount over the original amount, and then multiplied by 100%. Now, that is because a percentage is simply a representation of a decimal or fraction um, as hundredths. So this allows it to be viewed as hundredths. Okay, if we want to simplify this down so we don't have to write quite as much, we can write that as percentage of an amount is the amount over the original amount, so A subscript 0, and multiplied by 100%. Okay. So a nice simple rule there. Say I was trying to, for example, find percent of 5 out of 20. So that would mean that the percent would be 5 over 20 multiplied by 100%. So 5 on 20 will be 0 0.25. And when we multiply that by 100, we get 25 Okay, so percentage of 5 out of 20 will end up being 25%. Now when we look at percentage change, the only difference here is we're looking at the change in amount as a percentage. So really what we're looking at here is percentage change will be the change in the amount over the original amount and multiplied by 100%. Now so we can look at that percentage change as the new amount, subtract the original, over the original, and then multiply by 100%. So if we want to turn this into a simple to remember rule, then we'll have our change in A% percent will be the new value, subtract the original, so A subscript 0, over the original and multiply it by 100%. Okay, so let's look at a little example. If we had $50 and increased it to $70, what is the percentage change? So how much have we changed that? So, okay, so the percentage change in the amount will be the new amount, subtract the original, over the original and then multiplied by 100%. So we get 20 on 50 multiplied by 100%. 20 on 50 is 0 0.4 multiplied by 100%. And we end up then with 40%. Now because it's a change, it'll either be an increase or a decrease. If it's positive, then we know it's an increase. That means we have a 40% increase. We'll look at one more quick example. So if we have $100 and it decreases to $38, what is the percentage change? And to find that percentage change will be the new value, 38, subtract the original, which is 100 over the original, and then multiplied by 100%. So 38 take away 100 is negative 62. So negative 0.62 times 100. And we're left with negative 62%. Now if it's a negative, it means it's a decrease. So we're looking at 62% decrease. Okay, that's it. So we've looked at our calculating percentages and also calculating percentage change.